guys, it's me, Steph Sun Chow. Now tonight we need to talk about something. We are going to talk about enemy planes. Now recently, I don't know why, but I've been mentioning enemy planes quite a lot. And as such, I have had an obsession with air defense. Stam sites, spider, eye hawk, so on and so forth. So let's talk a little bit about enemy planes now. It all started with the Battlefield 1 trailer back in uh, 2016. It dropped sometime in uh, May, I believe it was. But uh, what happened was, see, Battlefield is under EA. And EA is, uh, they cancelled Tiberium, didn't they? And so I've been holding a grudge against them for a long And ruining the CNC franchise. So, uh, basically, I thought it was uh, cruel to hate on EA. Because they ruined everything. And now, there's all this hype going on around the BF1 reveal trailer, right? Shut the fuck up. There's all this hype going on. And I thought, you know, this hype is bullshit, you know, we're supporting EA. EA killed us. They're gonna take your money, and they're gonna kill you. It's a bad idea. Why, get, why are you getting hype over this shit? It's just a bunch of blender sounds, and it's no good. It's not as good as you think it is, you know. And then I, I went to Martin, and I said, hey, it's hip to hate on EA. Uh, so that was that. <sighs> that wasn't the only thing I was having like severe OCD, PTSD, stupid shit in the last. Uh, during that time as well. So, um. <sighs> what the fuck is going on? Alright. You know something? I know everything. No, I don't. I actually do not. Greetings, fellow imposters. <laughs> ah! What do you mean you edited today? You're not supposed to have edited anything. Oh shit! Oh, ah! oh no! No, we gotta add clicks. I think mine should be obvious enough though, because I got the paragraphing down. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Thank you, Ryan. I'm Jeff, and I'll be talking about our third and final solution. We want to create a webtoon to deal with the lack of empathy in young people. Its role is to spread awareness of the negative effects of the lack of empathy when youths are interacting online. I want to say young people, then you say young people is standardized, right? Okay. By doing so, we hope to reduce the prevalence of young people cyberbullying other users by enabling them to understand the consequences of their undesirable behavior. Now, our group has discovered that Webtoon is becoming increasingly popular among young people. Take for instance, that there are over 10 million daily users online Webtoon. Now, Webtoons can be accessed conveniently on any mobile device. That means anywhere, anytime. So this convenience encourages young people to read whenever they have time. Say, on the train, on the bus, or even before school starts. Also, Webtoons are more engaging than regular structured classroom lessons. So students who read a comic or history go, oh fuck, I was gonna say this. Let me ask the audience, do you remember a story do you remember the content of a story way better than that of any lecture you've sat through in the last year? Chances are, you do. So we want to leverage on the power of storytelling to really make the reader remember the messages of the story for a long time. So, on to the features. This, this webtoon is going to have three features. The first feature is that it will be serialized. 
that this makes the solution viable in the long run. Making our readers continually engaged will surely make them invested in the story over time. Slowly, they will grow attached to the characters and consider how their own undesirable behavior, okay, I'll say irresponsible actions maybe, their own irresponsible actions could lead to severe consequences. In addition, passionate readers could introduce, okay, I'm going to stop the accent. In addition, passionate readers could introduce the webtoon to their peers and help raise its popularity as the story goes on, subsequently expanding its reach to young people. Oh, I really need to standardize young people. Now we want a webtoon to join lots of young people. This is inconsistent. This is actually inconsistent. What the fuck is this? You want to say youths or young people? Youth, youths. Uh, impacts and the uh, group. You want to say youths or young people? <laughs> Second function of the app is to fucking die. Imagine yourself as a mom or dad. Click, 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 click. And now conscious that child's online activities, the features. Oh, look at that. It's my beautiful face again. You probably tell me you're switching past the web pages, right? <laughs> ah, is it you for young people? Y'all suck, man. Give me the. Young people today. I want to standardize right? young people, young people, young people, young people, young people, young people. What language is that, young people? Alright, listen up, young people. Alright. To look great with his eye catching art style, so readers would have their attention locked in. Great visuals compel viewers to carry on wanting to see more. Just think of an unforgettable animated movie you've seen before. You were captivated by how gorgeous it looked. And you can't forget the best moments of it because the vivid imagery has been burned permanently into your memory. So we want to hook readers with the stunning beauty of our webtoon, leaving them craving for more. Also, great imagery leaves a great impression on one's memory. By appearing astoundingly impressive, we hope to make our viewers retain memories of reading the webtoon. And of course, they'd always recall the memorable experiences and important lessons learned over the course of the story. By keeping the events of the webtoon in their memories, they would surely be compelled to live up to be upright digital citizens throughout their lives. Just as you remember those stunning films from the old days, you can recall the moral lessons that accompany them. Now on to the last feature, the webtoon will feature a cast of characters with relatable experiences. We want the storyline to be familiar to, uh, to its readers, so viewers can empathize with the characters. They could go, hey, I remember this happening to me, or I know someone who's been through this. So this makes it easy to understand the feelings of the characters. It affects the reader on a very personal level and really gets a message across. And the webtoon will therefore have a very far-reaching effect on its viewers by affecting them on such a personal level. I just repeated myself. So to sum it all up, there's this issue of lack of good digital citizenship in youth, and we aim to resolve that. Be it fake news, a lack of supervision, or interaction between users in person, this issue has multiple reasons for existing, and we wish to tackle each one effectively. The current solutions in place are ineffective at changing the mindsets of their target audiences. Some are too obscure and hardly, if not ever, reach anyone. Or, larger scale measures which are in place, such as cyber wellness programs, oh I lost track, <laughs> implemented in schools, do not engage the target audience. Structured lessons force students to zone out during lessons, which essentially means any knowledge imparted falls on deaf ears. Or, students could quickly forget whatever they've been told, since there's no real significance of cyber wellness in one's educational journey. So we intend to correct this by properly engaging our target audience and instilling in them the right values of being a responsible, upright, and considerate digital citizen. Thank you. <laughs> 942. <laughs> oh, this is actually recording. <laughs> Holy gee. 
Marisa. Ah, uh, fuck. Can't find the pool anymore. Yeah. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hmm? Give me the pool. the last time what time are you anymore? Mm. This shit dude People even study for chemistry, you know, this is... Holy shit! I don't belong in a JC, I tell you. I fucking swear. Guys, don't pull it down, shit, I mean, I swear. <laughs> yes, Ahmed, from ISIS. In case you're wondering why I'm playing this again, it's because I'm s I've started yet another search operation that I had actually given up on. I keep doing this. I need to stop. I always do this shit to myself. It's been everybody's favorite. Uh, come, come. 
everyone's favorite uh it actually looks better when the lights are on. We do cookies using blue. Oh, Jesus. Night one. Two. Everyone's favorite. Come on, man. So many problems, more than years I'm still real shit. So it's somewhere around here. But I don't know where to go then. When am I going to make it a video? It was physics. I was looking for physics. And this can be the same as well. I look at every page here. Every last page. You know what I'm saying? Searching forever. One day I won't find it. I just give up a bit. Alright. I don't know what the hell the point of this video is. I think I just kind of...